an experience at the end. You know, I put him in the game for one reason because he was rebounding. You know, we, we went small to try to speed the game up, and I thought it was our best chance offensively to maybe create some baskets. Um, at the end, we subbed him for Derek to get a little bigger in the zone, and we went man to man at the end of the shot clock. Switch the ball screen. You know, we, we, it's something we've done all year. At the end of the shot clock, we're going to switch the ball screen. Uh, again, just an experience, man, shot fake, veteran player, lead in. Rebound aside, it looked like the guys had a lot of chances to finish plays right at the rim. They just missed shot after shot. So it's a broken record in the fair. You've seen most every game we've played. We started uh, against UFC Aiken, and it's continued now. Uh, all we can do is continue to get in the gym and continue to make, you know, to get game-like reps and hopefully one day they'll make them or, or one day they'll make them for somebody else. Marshall came off the bench. What was that about? Today? Just trying to change his mojo. He shoots 30% from the floor, less than 25% in the first half on the road. It's not a winning formula, so I was trying to find a winning formula. I heard you talk about um, uh, Jarvis's foul trouble. Did you get the away from Jarvis when you were doing the uh, not from a productivity standpoint, you know, Jarvis has got big shoes to fill, he goes 4 for 12. Um, he rebounded the ball, he didn't have a turnover, I thought he was steady, but obviously when you're getting 17 a game, you got to carry that on the road, you got 11. Uh, you know, Marshall was the only guy really offensively that was making plays for us. Jarvis kept us in it with a huge drive at the end. Hearts in the right place, we just got to make some plays. You know, I thought we had a great penetration and pitch to Derek. Uh, it would put us up three with under a minute to play. Maybe the outcome's different. Didn't make the play. And ultimately, as I've said from day one, that's what it comes down to. Were you pleased for the most part with the defense like the time? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. defensively, that's what I want to win the game. How do you, how do you explain going uh, to a place that, that I think they're 11-2 and two in here, 5-1 in the league, and having a chance to win for less than you know a minute to play, and you shoot 32% for the fourth? The reason we were in the game is because we only turned it over three times. And we defended them. Uh, they shoot 32 percent as well, which kept us around. Were you surprised that Gaines had that kind of streak in the second half? Obviously, he's an impact guy, but he really carried them. Yeah, and he hit them all in the same position too. And I think two of those were off offensive rebounds. Again, our first shot defense did what it was supposed to. Uh, we couldn't guard a man when we went that small lineup, and we had to go small and try to figure out a way to match up us to score. We couldn't guard them when I had Derek and Marshall and Jarvis in the game, so we zoned. The trap was good for us at times because of our quickness. Uh, but our first shot defense, they were shooting some perimeter shots. We were keeping man out of dribble penetration. We couldn't, we couldn't gather off the defense. Is the rebounding position or physicality or what's toughness, toughness? Toughness, I think. I think toughness. I think, um, you know, there's a number of things that, that we're doing wrong, but this is, this is an issue. It's been an issue for us for a while. There's some games that we do better, but on the road, we don't do as well, which tells me it's a mental and a physical toughness that we've got to address. What's the challenge going into next week after these two games this past week? It's another hard game. We're playing uh, one of the best teams in the country and followed up by another one of the best teams in the country. we got to get better.